Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so tired of saying YouTube channel. Welcome back, y'all. As y'all seen by the title, today we'll be talking about how my sneaky link had went wrong. And y'all see I'm in my infamous setting because y'all ain't been in my room in so long. So I figured let's take it back to when we first met each other and we was right here. So ignore my nails, ignore any imperfections that I have going on. I'm trying to figure out my setup and everything. I really just want to give y'all a serious time. So with that being said, y'all know before we do anything, we have to do the word of the day. And today I'm actually not putting a video. I'm just going to give y'all a scripture that I feel like have carried me through life. And I also want to pass on to y'all. So the scripture is Isaiah 54, 17. And basically all in all, it says, um, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Now, y'all, I'm pretty sure we all grew up hearing that, but I'm saying it in a way of nothing that comes up in your day to day will prosper. That's somebody trying to make your day bad. That's somebody trying to like, you know, target you. That's just you having some form of mood that you don't even know where you got from or just something like something else that you can't control trying to bother you it will not prosper it will not work and god got you simple like anytime you feel something arising in you where it's negative just know that the devil is trying to steal your joy and it will not work always think back always think back on isaiah 54 17 carry that in your heart y'all so with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the sex room. So y'all, um, we got to give him a name. And I feel like my water bottle right here. Let's just call him Vienna. We just going to call him Vienna because when I tell y'all that boy thing was this big, I remember, I remember using my finger and I was like, damn, that's crazy. And that's without the fucking nails, y'all. So, y'all, this happened when I was younger. Y'all know when the whole term sneaky link started coming about and everything. Everyone was talking about, oh, you my sneaky link, you my sneaky link, whoop, whoop, whoop. So, it was around that time. Mind you, this wasn't like a sneaky link. I've never really had a sneaky link, for real. It's just the best way to describe it because I was being sneaky and then we did link. But it was never on some shit like, oh, this is a nigga that I just fuck on. We never, like, that wasn't the case. But anyways... Um, me and this dude, we was like close, y'all. Like when I said me and him was like real life friends, we were real life friends for the longest, probably like two years. I remember we went through school together and then we graduated together. Um, not high school, like middle school going into high school type vibes. So I was kind of older when all this shit had happened, but I've been knowing this dude. So anywho, um, I labeled him as my best friend at the time. And y'all, I swear, I kept him as my best friend. I never had any like type of motive like, oh, this wouldn't be my man. No, no, no. It was never like that. It was, this was supposed to be my, my brother, my dog on some real shit on my end. So his name, oh yeah. So Viana, v v I'm not calling him that shit. We just gonna call him Cor, bitch. I'm drinking a water bottle. So Cor, fuck it. We gonna call him Corey. His name gonna be Corey for the story time. All right. So me and Corey, we always talked, exchanged number, of course. And y'all, when I say Corey introduced me to like a lot of shit, he did introduce me to like a lot. Like I ain't gonna lie, I feel like I was very sheltered and very innocent as I should have. Like, my mom did a great job. Um, but yeah, like being around um Corey and stuff, he just exposed me to a lot. And with that, like he was definitely putting me on game with like dudes and like life and just like some other shit that I can't really like put in there. But just know that Corey was definitely just like Corey gave me a different perspective of life for sure. And, you know, with me and him being friends and stuff, I used to always come to him with some of my boy problems. And, y'all, this was back when I did not know not to involve no nigga in your business, you and your relationship business, because the whole time they be plotting, trying to do the very opposite. So, <laughs> so I used to always, I was dating, and I think I dated, like, two boys while I was, like, friends with Corey. I used to always go back to Corey on some 
um this happened with with the boob and you know he used to always give me advice and shit and I always remember he used to always be like, but you know, if he was a nigga like me, that wouldn't be happening to you and you don't deserve that. You need a nigga like me. You need a, you need a nigga like me. So in my mind, mind y'all, y'all, I wasn't putting two and two together. So I used to always think, put me on to somebody like you. So I used to always go to him back then. And I was like, um, you got you got a friend that I can get. You you know what I mean? Because you always be talking about so oh, you need a nigga like, you know, me and the boo doo doo boo. So he used to be quick to like hang up my face and be so aggravated. And y'all, I did not know what the fuck was wrong with him. I, I real life just thought he was a moody ass person. Now looking back at it, as y'all know, he liked me and he was referring to himself, not me with one of his other friends or some shit like that so y'all it was just like endless cycle of all of that and then i had got to a point where i was just so fed up with the dudes that i was dating like the two guys like i was just tired of it it wasn't going anywhere for me and i was over it i used to call Corey all the time crying and you know the way our relationship was is we'll talk and sometimes we'll fall asleep on the phone it was nothing like crazy like i just thought that was everyone relationship and i never like looked at it like oh me and corey getting closer it was never like that for me so y'all i remember me and corey we was having a conversation of course like i gave him the whole rundown i'm not dealing with no niggas no more and i'm so tired of it they always do the same thing whoop, 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 whoop. so i wanted to have a conversation and i just remember him starting off on some shit like um you know i've been wanting to tell you this and i wasn't sure how you was gonna feel about it um and i was like what you been wanting to tell me like because i'm thinking this nigga for the move i'm thinking like this nigga don't want to be friends i'm thinking like i'm just thinking everything else but he liked me you know what i mean like that wasn't that was not crossing my mind because i'm like you're my brother like what the fuck do you mean you like me? That's damn near incest. Don't be weird. So, <laughs> so he was like, you know, Cristal, I've been thinking that we should date. And I really just love the type of person you are. And I see like how these dudes are. And I know you don't deserve it. And I really just would want you to give me a chance. Mind y'all, this is the second boyfriend like that I've had, like homeboy type shit that I've had that tried to spend some shit on me like they like me. So red flags went off for me but that wasn't a thing back then but present time that was like a red flag for me because i'm like what and he knew about the last boy who did that shit and he had so much shit to say about him right shit like that nigga been plotting that's that weird ass nigga he's so weird you know no, 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 all that all that i'm just trying to shorten it up for y'all because y'all be saying how i be telling story times real long like isn't that the point of story times but anyway so he used to always just say shit like that so for him to come back and say that i was like uh, i don't know because my mind mind y'all like i said Corey taught me a lot so most of the shit that i kind of knew like on a boy's perspective was definitely from Corey. so i'm like this nigga said that nigga weird he plotting he he um listen to you to make sure he know what not to do in a relationship nah this thread and it kind of it kind of felt like awkward as fuck and i was low-key sad because it's like damn Corey, like we supposed to go through life together we're supposed to be like cool and shit what the fuck do you mean like so while he was saying that to me i kind of just like i didn't have much to say i honestly did not have much to say and I think I hung up and I was like, oh, I'll let you know all of that. I just have to take some time. You know, I, I'm not fucking with no niggas right now anyways. I'm not fucking with no niggas right now anyways. So, I don't know. So, he ended up um, he ended up giving me space. I took like two days from him. Mind you, we talk every day. So, that was a lot back then. That was real significant. So, he gave me two days and I had called him. Mind y'all. When I said I was a hopeless romantic back then, I was a hopeless romantic. So I used to always think like, maybe this is the person for me. Like, I swear to God, everybody that I came in contact with and it just seemed like something in a damn notebook or something that that it will make sense. Like, yeah, this is how we make each other. This is what we're going to tell our kids. That's what I thought. So I'm like, this nigga is my best friend because I gave him that label. 
I was like, this nigga is my best friend. He know everything about me. He been here through everything. What he said was weird. And I got to confront him to see if he been doing the same shit them other niggas been doing. But maybe. So I kind of started feeling very hopeful. I'm not going to lie. And, um... <laughs> And I called him back and I was like, you know what? I think we could. Like, let, let's just try it out. Let's see how we do through the wood. And this nigga was ecstatic. He was like, you know, basically, but yeah, basically he was happy because he thought I was going to say no, which he should have definitely expected. And that's, that's what I should have went with my first senses, but it's fine. So we end up like fake dating for like a week or some shit like that. And my job. In my mind, like, I don't know if it's just me. I don't I don't think I do this anymore. But back then, I used to, like, plan how a relationship for the go. <laughs> and I don't mean, my nose piece almost came up. But I don't mean on some shit like, we're going to go to the, you know, like, how he's going to. I don't know, like, nothing like super OD. I just always thought, I'm going to go real slow in this relationship. I'm going to wait this long, da 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 to do certain things with him. You know what I mean? And I wasn't sexually active back then. I got to tell y'all that. I got to, you know what I mean? I was just thinking, like, okay, this is the one, and I don't want to fuck it up. So I'm going to go real slow. So I already just planned out in my head, I'm not rushing, and I want this to work type shit. So anywho, um, yeah, we end up um, dating and stuff actually intentionally falling asleep on the phone you know we already kind of knew each other but like romantically was getting to know each other and y'all red flag number one that i realized with Corey is i kind of every time that every time that we'll be on the phone and mind y'all two weeks pass so i'm like what the fuck i'm getting ahead of myself but it was like what the fuck is because he used to like he used to always want to talk about sexual shit right and mind y'all, one, I was a virgin. I wasn't comfortable with that shit, but I wasn't also innocent to the point where I didn't want to talk about sex. It was just more of, we just started talking. In my regular relationships, I don't even do this shit. And then two, why offer if you come to me on some, let's fuck? Like, that that felt real weird to me. So, um, yeah, it threw me off. Like, every time that we'll talk relationship or like lovey-dovey, you know, oh, I really fuck with you, da 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 and I really want to be intimate with you, you know, I really want you to be, you know, the one who do this with me, with the root, like, somehow, the conversation will always go back to sex, and I used to always, like, steer it back on the right path, but I did not like that, and I just thought, like, you know, maybe, you know, he's an over-sexual guy, and, you know, just hormones and shit, because when you're younger, you want to experiment and get everything, so that's what I'm thinking in my mind, I didn't excuse it, but that's what I was thinking, so, Long story short, I'll say another week had went by. So at this point, we've been talking officially for three weeks, y'all. And mom, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. But I was sneaky. So, <laughs> fuck. I was sneaky. So I, like, when my mom and stuff used to be gone, I used to, like, sneak. You know what I mean? But I never snuck out. I don't think I ever snuck out. Maybe I have. No, I haven't. Um, but I used to like sneak people over here. There's one day my mama had left, and of course I was texting him, and I think it was like probably like one o'clock or something. Like I think I was coming back from school or I stayed home from school. Somehow, some way my mom was gone and I knew she was gone for like an X amount of time. And he lived down the road, kinda down the road. And I was like, can you come over with you through? It's the perfect time to come over. Mind y'all, it didn't just happen like in one day. We had been plotting and he was already on the way. So I'm like, all right, she left. Cool with you through. So he come over. And when I tell y'all, I made my bed. I put, I brought out all my board games and stuff that I had. Because when I say I was so like young and innocent, I just wanted to preserve like the innocence of our relationship. So I brought my board games out. Like, I was acting like a real fucking host, y'all. I done brought some chips, some food, some drinks, everything out. Um, Some card games. I think I brought Uno. And then, you know, I had my bed made. And then I had, like, a blanket on top of my bed. Because I was thinking, like, we just gonna have a little blanket to cover our feet. It ain't, ain't too much. To I don't know. Like, in my mind, I was not thinking sex. And I had to put a movie on. So he get here. When I tell y'all, as soon as he walked through the door, like in my room, bro, 
push me on the wall, start kissing up on me. And I was just like, whoa. Like, in my mind, like, y'all, I was not into it. I was not into it at all because I'm like, hey, hello, type of shit. Like, all we did was a little awkward come in. You know what I mean? When you sneak somebody in, then we walked upstairs, and then we come in my room, you want to push me against the wall and shit and kiss on me. Mind y'all, in any girl fantasy, yeah, that sounds good with a certain person and at a certain point, right? But it was like we three weeks in, you ain't even talked to me damn near, and you already kissing up on me, rubbing up on me. Like I'm kissing, choking, rubbing, all of that, and I'm like, whoa. So I'm kissing him back. I kissed him back because I don't want to be awkward. I kissed him back, and I kind of like had started laughing and pushed him off of me because bitch, what? <laughs> and then we had one on the bed. Mind y'all, I'm all excited. I'm showing him my little setup of everything I brought out. And he's just looking like the fuck type shit. Like, that's the energy he was giving me. So we end up like laying down. I'm like, you wanna watch a movie? This nigga yanked my fucking head back. Cause I had hair on y'all. Yanked my head back. And he said, no, come here. So I'm like, huh? But I'm not really trying to like think too much of it. So I'm like, all right, like maybe he want to hug or something. Like real shit, that's where my mind is at. Maybe he want to cuddle while I still pick this movie out because bitch, we're watching the movie. So he ended up saying like, oh, get on top of me, all of that. And I'm like, get on top. So I'm like, and I'm not going to lie, I took a while to do that. I was like, no, I don't really want to do that. And he was like, come on, get on top of me. We, I just want to hug you. I just want to hug you. Like, he used to lie and bait me. Like, I just want to hug you. I just want to hug you. So, I get on top of him. And, y'all, this is going to be a TMI. And you can judge me for this part. But I don't care. This is my own life. I am scared of tiny wieners. Like, <laughs> I'm scared of tiny wieners. And that was something I never really wanted to experience in my life. Only because, like, that's an awkward moment and I will forever look at you different. And, y'all, it needs to be a good size. Like, I got my man now, so I ain't worried about that. And trust me, I'm not worried about that. But before all this shit had happened, I was not playing them tiny wiener games. Like, in my mind, I was like, if I'm gonna lose it, if I'm gonna be with anybody, they have to have something packing because me... I just feel like I want to forever be pleased. Like, I, I just don't want to experience no no tininess. Like, no. Like, I'm very over ambitious. So, I need to know I can't take it type shit. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh, my God. This is so PG-13. But anyways, yeah. So, I get on top. And, you know what I mean? He rubbing on me and stuff. And I'm like, all right. We're not going to watch a movie in my mind. So, I kind of just get with it. So, I'm like hugging on him too. I'm kissing on him and stuff. But in my mind, I'm like, it's only going to go as far as like foreplay. I don't want to do anything crazy. So, he's like, oh my God, I'm just so hard. I'm just, and I'm cringing. Because that was just such a nasty moment for me. <laughs> It was such a nasty moment for me because I just remember, like, I just remember, I just, you know. So, he's like, I'm so hard, da, 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 da. can you suck it? I said, what? What am I sucking? Mind y'all, I'm a child, like, I'm a kid, so, bitch, you're not exposing me to some shit I don't want to be exposed to. So, I get off of him, and I'm like... I'm stalling for the longest, y'all. Stalling for the longest. I'm like, no. Mm -mm. I don't even think you're there yet. Mind you, like, I'm, like, stalling, but I'm, like, rubbing on his pants type shit. Like, I'm trying to, like, keep him interested in me, but I'm trying to, like, figure out in my head, how the fuck do I get out of this? So, while I'm rubbing, I'm realizing, bitch, I'm not feeling nothing, and you're saying you're hard. And, y'all, I forgot to mention this shit. While we was talking, right, and I told y'all every conversation led to something sexual, he used to always, like get a phone box like two phone boxes and put them beside each other like damn near this and be like yeah it's this big it's this big and when it grows it's this big literally i promise y'all i put that on my life y'all he used to do that he used to be like oh it's this big with the phone boxes and like probably something smaller and he used to be like you're not ready for it you can't take it you're not ready for it it's so big and i was like okay okay when we get there i'm gonna love that okay so, um, when I didn't feel anything, I had a flashback to that conversation. I'm like, what's big? 
Because now I'm fascinated. And y'all, I was not trying to get there with him. But now I'm fascinated. Because I'm like, you're a fucking liar. So I'm like, what's what's big? What's big about that? So, <laughs> um, you know, y'all know what happened. He ended up taking his pants So We did not have sex. So I got to put it out there. We did not have sex. Um, And... He um take his he take his um pants off and he still got his boxers on and I'm like rubbing it and he was like yeah I'm so hard mind y'all he's not trying to make like eye contact with me and I'm like right like my eye like my when I'm disgusted by so you are gonna see it in my face so he looked at me he just threw his head back and he's just like yeah just like that mind y'all this is all I'm doing. He said, yeah, I'm so hard. Can you suck it? That's when he said that. I said, okay. God wasn't going to do it. But I said, okay. He pulled his pants down. When I tell y'all, I looked at it. And I'm not going to lie. I picked it up. <laughs> it's not disgusting, but I picked it up. And I was holding it. My fist has always been the same size. Like, from then to now, my fist has been the same size. When I tell y'all this. And the tip was right here. <laughs> I was catfish and I was bamboozled. He got me. And I'm like, that's and that's truly when I've learned when I learned when a nigga boasts about how big his thing is, it's actually very tiny. Because I feel like anybody who got it like that don't have to say shit. That's like a good pussy girl. She not for the girl around saying, oh yeah, my coochie's so good, my coochie's so good. You're trying to convince me and you're trying to manipulate me and you're deceiving me. You're a liar. So, and then y'all, he looked, mind y'all, he had his head through bag. So I did like this with my pinky. Y'all, y'all, and to make matters worse, this nigga was trying to force my mouth on that shit. And when I said I was so disgusted, I was so disgusted. And I was trying to like, you know, when you get in a position where you got to do a hand job, I was trying to stroke. When I say this is what I did, literally, I kid y'all not. I kid y'all not, literally. And I think even though I did not plan on doing nothing nasty with that boy, and I didn't even plan on being in that position, it was just so much shit, but that pissed me off the most. Because when I tell y'all, I don't play about no tiny wieners. And then you lied. And then you came here with the audacity to knock my ass in the fucking wall. Kiss on me and shit. Not even want to eat my fucking cheese and crackers that I pulled out for you. And play my fucking board game and watch a nice little movie with me. And enjoy this little peaceful day that we had because it was raining. It was a vibe, y'all. It was a real vibe. Put my candle on and everything. And you think that that I'm do that to you? No. And then to make matters worse, this nigga, this before I even knew what a munch was, y'all. He was begging to eat my coochie because I was like, no, I don't suck. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I was lying out my rabbit ass mind because you had me fucked up. So I was like, no, I can't do it. And he was like, all right, let me eat your coochie. Let me eat your coochie. So I'm like, huh? So, he ended up, like, flipping me. Because I was laying down, y'all. And the, No, no, no. Yeah, I was laying down. I was laying down. He ended up flipping me. To the point where it's like, y'all know stand-up missionary type vibe. But he trying to eat it. So, I called my lady so fast. And I was like, nah, like, I'm not. I'm just not in the mood. Because that just threw my whole vibe off. I'm like, we can't even talk no more. We can't even get on the phone. We can't discuss shit. <laughs> but yeah, like real life. And yeah, he, um, after that, after I told him no, this nigga gonna turn around and ask me to eat his ass. So you went from sucking the dick to eating ass. 
Oh, he just blew my whole experience, y'all. And I really fucked with this nigga. And I'm not as girls. Y'all know how y'all do pros and cons. I was literally, like, as I was looking at him, I was doing pros and cons. Because when I said this was the first, like, scammer nigga. Nigga that had, like, motion going on type vibe. And just, like, the bestie relationship we had. I started being like, damn, pros and cons, pros and cons, pros and cons. Because back then, I was doing my own shit. Like, I had my business was popping. And most niggas wasn't on my shit. So, I'm like, at least this nigga getting some income. At least he got some shit going on. But I'm like, this is never worth it. And I'm not going to sit here and pretend like it, it's okay. I'm not. So, y'all. um, Literally, like, I, I believe after I encountered the Vienna sausage. Sausage. <laughs> the Vienna sausage. I kind of just told him, like, he got to go. My mom's on the way. You got to go. You got to go. It, it just felt like it just felt like too much to do with at once. And, you know, I showed him out, of course. I didn't even say bye and give him a hug. I was just pissed. Because you pissed me off. Why the fuck would you even do that? Yeah, I was just pissed. And I showed him out. And he left. And I came back upstairs. And I watched my movie and ate my chips. And he did not hear from me. Um, He tried to reach out to me so many times. No. Hey y'all, that was the story time how my sneaky link gone wrong and his winner was not wintering. Literally. And I would just never do that shit again. So y'all, what we learned from today is a dude brag on how big his thing is. Do not believe him. And kind of as your red flags. If you have a boy that's your friend and y'all are super close and he ever want to be your boyfriend don't do it they've been plotting all right um and i love y'all i'm gonna see y'all in two days i'll upload another video for y'all